What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to another episode. Today, we are pushing forward and finishing off our G55 by Special Hobby. This is a great little kit, and so far, I've been having a lot of fun. So last time, we went ahead and overcoated everything with Future. That came out beautifully shiny, very sturdy, very strong, so we are ready for decals. Now, what I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to go ahead and start cutting out all the decals. We're going to get that all laid out. We're going to then put those on using our typical decal method. And then we're going to move on to the real meat of this video. And that's going to be attempting to weather. Now, I'm not really that adept at weathering. At least I don't really think I am. Weathering a dark color like this dark olive is going to be a little bit more difficult for me. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. I've got to do a little bit of research and all that. But I wanted to go ahead and jump first into the decals, get those cut out of the decal paper, get them sectioned off, and figure out how everything kind of goes together. Now, luckily, the version I've chosen to go ahead and reproduce here does not have a lot of decals. Literally, it just has a couple on the side of the fuselage, no wing markings, no underside markings, nothing. Just a couple things on the side of the fuselage and a little bit on the rudder. So let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse. We're going to go ahead and use our exact same method as decaling. So we've got our micro saw, we've got our micro set, we've got our brushes, we've got all the tools we need to go ahead and get these decals nicely applied. So let's go ahead and get that time lapse going, get these decals down on some plastic. After they cure, we'll come back, shoot it with a little bit of future to go ahead and seal those decals in, and then, well, we'll be ready for weathering. So let's go ahead and get it done. Let's do it. All right, everybody, we are back. And I got to tell you that future turned out beautifully. All the decals are nicely sealed. Let's go ahead and start weathering. Now we're going to start off with some panel line accent colors here in the wheel wells. I'm also going to use some panel liner washes by AK. And of course, we have our aim weathering powder, grimy black and dark gray. So we're going to go ahead and just dive right on in and see what we can do. Now, I also have a lot of other work to do that I want to go ahead and attempt, such as I want to take some yellow ochre and I want to try to lighten up certain panels here on the top of the aircraft. So yellow ochre oil paint for that kind of blending pattern. I want to go ahead and use those grimy black and that aim weathering powder for any sort of gun dust and exhaust stains. Then get everything overcoated with the flat, come back in, string our easy line, paint up our nav lights. So let's go ahead and dive right on in, guys. Push forward. We are almost there. We are so close. Let's go ahead and finish off this kit, see how it turns out.
right, everybody, that was a lot of work, but we have finally completed our 148 scale special hobby G55. And I'm really excited to go ahead and show you the final results. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bring out the finished kit. And uh, well, I hope you guys like it because I've had so much fun going ahead and building it. So here it is, the 148 scale special hobby G55 series zero aircraft that we've completed for the VJ VE group build. Now I tried a couple of new things here. I tried some oil washes. I tried using some panel liners. I just really tried to have fun with it and see what I could do. And honestly, I think it turned out way better than I thought it was going to. The main focus I really wanted to try with this was to play around with the idea of monochromatic colors. And I wanted to see if I couldn't somehow get some panel variations and some color changes and just really work with uh, subtleties and with weathering and oils. And I think you can see on camera that there is a definite shift between the center of the panel to the dark panel line. It's not a uniform color. There's some definite variation there in the finish. And that's really what I was going for. That was kind of the main focus of why I chose this particular color scheme. Plus the G55 is one of those aircraft that just looks like a thoroughbred, kind of like a Ferrari of the sky to me. It looks like it'd be fast, nimble, agile, and it looks like it could pack a punch. So I've always wanted to build one of these. And luckily I had the special hobby kit. I thought what a great entry for the VJVE group build, but we are done. And I got to tell you, turned out nicely. So in terms of fit, everything went together nicely. I didn't have any real issues with fit. We had a couple of discrepancies here and there. The fuselage sat a little bit proud of the wings. We had a little bit of shape issues, but really honestly, nothing too bad. This is a more limited run kit. So flash and a little bit of injection mold errors are bound to happen. Now we had a few with this, but nothing really that detrimental. I was able to pull it together, get everything glued in, and I didn't break any parts off and everything went together beautifully. So overall, I had a lot of fun. And I'm glad that this kit turned out the way it did. So I'm very, very happy. The one drawback of the kit, I'd have to say, is the canopy. The canopy itself was molded into one piece, so I couldn't actually open that up without doing some kit surgery. So you can't really see the inside of the cockpit too much. And I did spend a little bit of time on that, so that's a bit of a shame. But everything else went together very, very well. We've got our oil stains. We've got our smoke stains from the exhaust. We've got our gun dust. I was able to do a little bit of scratch building as well for the rear detail back there and the radiator. and of course the shell ejection ports and all the little plates. So that was a lot of fun. I just really love scratch building and that gave me an opportunity to add a little bit more interest and a little extra life here to the kit and I am done. Overall, this was a fantastic little build, a really nice kit, especially for a limited run. If you'd like Italian aircraft and you can still find this kit somewhere on the market, I'd say pick it up, play with it, have fun with it. It doesn't really take all that much effort to go ahead and put together. It's a pretty simple kit, especially for limited run. So anyway, guys, we are going to go ahead and call it quits for today. We are done with another series. I'm going to go ahead and get this posted over on the Hobby Link International Forum. Let everybody know I'm finished up and we'll just see where we go from here. Got a couple of kits on the back burner I've been really interested in jumping in on. So we'll see what uh, strikes my fancy. So until our next episode, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. You guys know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool. And we'll see you back here on the next episode of Ben Builds. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon.